More of Meet the Press after this brief news and weather update. Good morning. Investigators are trying to answer an important question. What went wrong aboard Value Jet Flight 592? The DC-9 with 109 people aboard crashed into Florida swampland Saturday afternoon. Authorities believe no one survived. The jet was scheduled to fly from Miami to Atlanta and turned back after reporting smoke in the cockpit. It vanished from radar screens four minutes later and went down in the Everglades. Investigators have returned to the area but are having trouble reaching the site. Snakes and alligators live in the swamp and workers have to build a road from a nearby levee into the marsh. So far, few large pieces of wreckage have been spotted and the cause of the crash remains unknown. The aftermath now of another air tragedy. From Boston to Los Angeles, residents are learning that neighbors are among the dead from a military helicopter collision in North Carolina. Investigators continued searching the swamp near Camp Lejeune, where 14 servicemen died Friday. The Defense Department says the aircraft were at an altitude of 300 feet when they collided. Pilots were wearing night vision goggles. In South Lebanon this morning, an ambush bomb attack on patrolling Israeli soldiers. Seven were wounded, one seriously. Israeli warplanes retaliated with raids on suspected Hezbollah guerrilla bases. The attacks are the most serious since the ceasefire, April 27th. And residents of the Midwest are bracing for devastating floods that could last well into the week. The Ohio River swelled, forcing people from their homes in Louisville, Kentucky. And even though the forecast calls for clear weather, the river won't crest until tomorrow. Storms overnight also interrupted power from the south to the northeast. And that's a look at our news on this Sunday morning. Now back to Tim Russert and NBC's Meet the Press. <laughs> Bill Sapphire and Tom Dewey after this station break.